Coming up on Celebrity Homes Unlocked. I come along for Cassie Randolph's renovation ride in beautiful Huntington Beach, California. And watch this beachside bungalow transform into a space you'll have to see to believe. All right, now it's your guys' turn. All right, should we write some music? Yeah, we she should. says it so like it's yeah. so simple. Yeah. Hey, write a hit song. <laughs> <laughs> wonder how your favorite celebrities live? You say zebra, <laughs> I say zebra, let's call the whole thing off. Now we are getting the keys and unlocking these jaw-dropping secrets inside the most incredible celebrity homes in America. I'm Andrea Belke. Come join me. This is Celebrity Homes Unlocked. I am in gorgeous Huntington Beach, California. I'm about to meet up with Cassie Randolph. Cassie rose to fame on the popular TV show, The Bachelor, and she is the quintessential California beach girl. She lives by the ocean, she surfs, and she tries to incorporate that spirit in her home. Let's go see what she's up to. the day with you. What are you up to right now? I was actually just about to go on a walk on the beach. Do you want to join me? Let's go. Say no more. I hear <laughs> beach. That's what I want to do. Well, Cassie, I'm so happy to meet up with you. I am a secret fan of yours from The Bachelor. Oh. Guilty. <laughs> but I love that you're doing so much afterwards with your home and with your YouTube series. What's a typical day like for you? Oh, that's so hard to answer. I feel like every day is so different. Um, I'm also in speech therapy, so now I have two days a week doing a speech therapy job. A lot of filming, a lot of content stuff, a lot of working on the house. I have like a hundred plants, <laughs> so <laughs> constantly watering plants, potting plants. Well, you have this new home, which you're so gracious enough to let us tour, but what made you decide to pick this house in this location? Um, you know, I was in LA for a couple years. Well, I was born here, moved around. I feel like this has always been like my home that I want to come back to. And my family's here. I was in LA for a couple years and I was gonna stay there. COVID hit and I was like, I just need to go back home. So I decided why not move back near my parents. They live like 10 streets down. Oh, that's So nice. I see them all the time. Well, lucky for you, we're gonna be talking a lot about your house. <laughs> I also, one of my favorite things about beach towns is Besides the beach, I love cute little coffee shops, and I hear you have a couple that you love There's here. There's so many around here. I, that's what I love about Huntington, is I literally don't have to get in my car. I just walk everywhere. It's like its own little mm -hmm. bubble, and it's my favorite. Should we go walk to get some caffeine? I think we should. I think we should. <laughs> All right, so Cassie, you have so much going on. You have your YouTube series. You did your run on The Bachelor. You got your master's in speech pathology. What's next for you? Um, I think just remodeling my house, getting that all fixed up and squared away is what's on my plate right now. Well, I'm excited to see the house and see your ideas for There's it. There's so. a lot to see. Let's go. <laughs> <Lots> done. <laughs> All right, we're here. here we are. I know oh, you're so excited and I can talk am. forever about the house. I could, I could talk about every little square inch of it because I want to redo everything. Yeah, so you're in the middle of a remodel. So yes. walk me through, what have you done so far and what do you want to change? So furniture has been slowly trickling in. So I have a lot of just pieces in place of mm -hmm. what I'm gonna have right now. Um, these doors, this is what's gonna happen next that I'm so excited about. Ever since I got the house, I was like, First thing I'm gonna do is knock down this wall and I'm gonna make it into three giant window sliding glass doors. Oh. So I decided over there is gonna be like the fixed glass mm -hmm. door and then these ones are just gonna slide into it. And so you just like, came up with that on your own? I mean, I feel like you look at the houses all around here and they all have just like front doors yeah. and it's so closed off out here and there's so much patio space that I wanted to like maximize all the space mm -hmm. kind of like have it flow from the living room 
outdoors. That's gonna look really cool. The first thing I notice when I walk in is this amazing couch. It's so big. So excited yeah. about this couch. I actually <laughs> got it like the first month I moved here. So I made my family sit on it and reserve it so no one would take it. Oh. Went home, like measured. Brighton was like laying on the ground trying to like be the couch, you know, see if it would fit. Um, and then just took it home that day. How many plants do you have? Um, it's really bad. I think we counted the other day, upstairs alone is like almost 50. Wow. No, it's so bad. <laughs> it's a, I like moved in and I immediately got like 100 plants and no furniture. Well, this is stunning. My designers kind of came in and took measurements and helped me map out like a game plan, mm -hmm. like a vision. I'm not following it to the T. I'm also painting the entire interior white. I see paint right there. I actually have paint. We could, you could help me choose a color if you want. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much of a help I'll be. I don't know but... how much of a help I'm gonna be to my own. Okay. I mean, I've house. never, I've never done this. So what's the key? I actually haven't either. So oh, really? No. <laughs> All of this is a first for me. I've never done anything to a house. Yeah, I'm so learning. what's, um, you have to choose a color like, that you're gonna paint this entire place Yeah, with? so they gave me three different options of white. Okay. Um, so I just have to figure out which one, I'm gonna put them on like every single wall in the place and mm -hmm. figure out which one looks the best in every room. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have to put them in every room right now. <laughs> but <laughs> start with here. Okay, what do we think? This is definitely super white. I mean, that one is the Does biggest it difference. Look more, this one looks the most like fluorescent white to me. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if I like it though. I this one's like a little more cream. I, okay, my opinion, I like this. I was actually thinking the same thing. Winner? I think so, for this room at least. Yeah, winner, woo, that was easy. All right. All right, next room. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this little space too. Uh, this is a frame TV, so love this. The frame just came in too. Wait, this is a TV? Wow. Yeah, so you, wait, you actually thought it was a piece of art? I just thought this was a piece of art and there was just a cord for some reason. <laughs> what is the cord under the yeah. artwork doing? Well, that's very <laughs> clever. So this kitchen, I think, is very cute, but I know you want to change a lot. I, yes, I mean, I feel like everything. So I actually have, <laughs> I'm like, I think it's horrible. everything. <laughs> My dining table is actually coming this next weekend. Mm -hmm. And what is that gonna look like? I wish you could have seen the table. Yeah. It's a really long, I think it's 84 inches. I know all the dimensions of my <laughs> <laughs> Um, Wooden table with cool legs, super cute. All right, I'm so excited to check out the upstairs and the garden. Yes. I oh, say we get wait. a nice refreshing drink Would before you we go up. Would you like to try hard kombucha? Have you ever had it? I've never had it. Okay, it's my favorite drink. I feel like it's a very in thing. Let's do it. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. It tastes just like regular like kombucha. I know, you can't even tell. Yeah. It's like a beer. That is dangerous. It is really dangerous, <laughs> honestly. All right, let's go upstairs. Okay. All right, so this is your bedroom. It's yes. so cute. Thank you. I know, I love, I've tried to make it very like cozy. Who's this little guy? <laughs> This is Pooh. Um, my dog, when I was younger, ripped his shirt off, his ear, and his nose. So <laughs> he's, he's seen better though. days. <laughs> Anything else you want to change with this room? Just paint, paint it, fix up little things, fix the electrical. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe have I might do a little art wall on that side Cute. too. But so besides pretty. that, I don't know. Everything. Yeah, there'll okay. be something. The moment I've been yes. waiting for. This is my oasis. This is so cool. How did you start this? Or what brought the idea for you? So, honestly, I think it started with my mom. She, she's she been my little design designer of this space. Mm -hmm. So this was just a roof to the garage. Did you have to get it cleared, make sure that? Yeah, so when I had the inspector like doing inspections on the house when I was first buying it, we asked him to check and see 
like how much this would hold, like if I could do a full garden out here. And he was like, it's totally fine, totally safe. It's also cool and feels so California because we're literally looking at palm trees right there. Yeah. It's the beautiful sky. I mean, this is just wonderful. Cassie, oh, this lady. has been wonderful. Thank you so much for letting me in your home. Of course, We did a you. lot today. I know. Did a painted. home tour, we painted, got coffee, some hard kombucha. There we go. So I'll have to come back cats. and visit and see the rest of what you do with the place. Yes, I know, I talked your ear off about <laughs> my house the whole time. Well, you got me inspired for future <laughs> renovations of my home. So. You'll have to come back when it's like completely done, too. I feel like it'll be a big change. Sounds like an open invitation that it I can't is. refuse. It is. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, welcome back, you guys. It has been almost a year since you guys were here, and there's been a lot of changes going on, so I'm really excited to show you guys through the house. When I first moved in, I was thinking, I'm gonna do as much as possible on my own to this house. I'm gonna YouTube the whole thing, of course. And then, <laughs> it just takes so much longer to do anything, especially when you're doing it by yourself. The shelves, for example, you know, they look easy sitting up there. Um, and I thought it was gonna take like half a day, maybe a few hours to go pick out the wood and put them up there. But it probably took me three days of like, four days of maybe more. Hello. You guys are not gonna believe who I'm talking to right now. Hey everyone. I am so bummed that I can't be there in person right now. But I know. Cassie, thank you for the tour. This place is incredible. Thank you. Should you should be so proud. I really wish you could see it in person, but next time you're here, oh, you'll have to come by. I'm in California. I'm stopping by without <laughs> so be ready. Perfect, and I'm sure there will be much more added onto the house as well. Bye then. All right, well, have fun showing everyone else the house. Thank you, good to talk to you. All right, talk to you later. Bye. All right, now it's your guys' turn. Okay, so this is the living room. It looks a lot different from last time you guys were in here. The doors made a huge difference, honestly, in like the whole house. I feel like the light just like shines in now. It's great. Um, here is the, the couch, the famous couch I talked about last time. We painted the house white, went with the color that Andrea and I, actually, we actually went the same color that Andrea and I picked out on the wall over here. That doesn't exist anymore. Okay, and also I love my coffee table. This is also different from last time you guys were here, as with everything. Um, it's really cool because there's different levels to it. I also liked it because this is such a big space and a big couch that I wanted to be able to move it around. So sometimes I'll have it in this shape, sometimes I'll have it together. There's some storage underneath. This was the very first piece of like art art that I've ever bought in my life and it's Sean Thomas. He has a studio in Laguna Beach and he hand sculpts. I love collecting little cool pieces that are just unique and different and he kind of floats around the house wherever I feel like putting. <laughs> my mom actually got me this. It's from this little shop in Costa Mesa, and she saw it and was like, this says Cassie's house to me. And here we are. All right, and over here I have more plants, believe it or not. Um, we got my little propagation station. My sister saw this in my house and she's like, what is this science experiment that you're doing? And I'm like, it's cool, <laughs> right? Um, but basically you like cut the plant at a certain part and then you can create more plants out of it. And I'm actually successful in doing it because you can see roots growing. We have shelves. These I did DIY and it took so much longer than I imagined it would. I picked out this wood from Ganal and then I stained it, did all, drilled the holes for the brackets, all the fun stuff and 
decorated them, which is the fun part. And we have some games on here. I have Monopoly, Yahtzee, Scategories, Catchphrase, Clue, Dominoes, but they're like very like chic, vintage looking games, so they're fun to display. They're not like a boring game box. <laughs> All right, and if you guys couldn't tell, we got a little matching chair action here. So I had to put that right above the chair because it's literally completely the same. I thought it was really funny. And then over here we have the frame TV. This is not artwork, it's a TV, which I'm in love with because I just think it's, it looks so much nicer than like a big TV on the wall. And more plants, of course. And then right here we have a record player. Love having my little music going on. For some reason, I feel like listening to a record just sounds so much better than music from my Alexa. <laughs> okay, speaking of music, got some guitars hanging on the wall over here. Um, I just think it's a really fun little decor idea. You can turn this on and off and it makes a little bit more of a difference at night, but it is really cool. Right here we have a vintage record player that I found and I'm really obsessed with it. And it actually plays records, which is really fun on this side. This side's a stereo and it's pretty loud. You'd be surprised that like you can hear it throughout the house. Um, sometimes I'll change the records or sit here and play guitar, hang out. Okay, so now we're in the dining room. Um, I just got these chairs, love them. I couldn't decide if I wanted a bench on this side and then four chairs, but I went with the chairs. I used to have three mirrors on this wall, but I just felt like there's a lot going on in the room, so I just wanted one giant mirror over there. Um, yeah, just kind of trying to keep it simple because I feel like this chandelier makes it very busy. Okay, so now we're going into one of my most favorite spots of the house, the kitchen. So this was a really fun project because last time you guys saw it, it was just, I think it was horrible. <laughs> it had like these black countertops. It was like super closed off to the rest of the house. It's like a huge vent here. It was higher, higher countertops had a weird like step in it for some reason. The fridge was just the worst part. It was like floating right here with nothing to hold on to. So, I wanted to make it really open, really bright. It's so much brighter now because um, just of all the light colors, obviously, and how open it is right here. And I wanted, to, I wanted it to kind of flow with the rest of the house. And that's also kind of why I chose the green color. So this is a custom um, color that was like a mix of a few things. So I like fully, with a lot of help from my mom, designed this kitchen um, by myself with my mom. And I picked out all these tiles. They're all handmade tiles, which I thought was really cool. So they're all like a little bit uneven and I think it gives it a lot of character. And they're matte, so I didn't want them to be shiny, like the matte. And then the open shelving, I'm in love with. So I have a ton of storage in my house, so I don't really need like cabinets up here, but also it's super functional. So I actually use all of these things. Okay, so for this part of the kitchen, I went back and forth on how to design it because I didn't want it to like be too closed off, but I made a little appliance garage here. Well, I didn't make it, but I wanted one here. And little pocket doors. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> um, and right now I just have my coffee maker in here, but I think I'm gonna get a smaller coffee maker and put like a blender, it's just really convenient. Okay, so with the kitchen, um, it started off as I wanted to do like the bare minimum, um, just to like open it up and make it feel brighter. And then I feel like this is always how it happens. One thing led to another and the whole room was empty. 
Okay, so this is the home studio right here. We have Brighton. How's it going, guys? Making music. What are we making today? <laughs> Not sure yet. Kind of just feeling the vibes, the summary. So, I don't know, maybe a house song. Can we we'll hear go it? With it? Can you hear it? Can I hear it? Um, you can hear this this bit right here. I'll do this one. Yeah, this one's nice. Yeah, so basically this whole place was like a shack before. It had no drywall or anything. Um, we insulated it. We had a friend come out and do all the drywall and then... Brighton was in here painting it, patching little things. What we else? painted oh. the floor with epoxy and yes, stuff. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, epoxy. Epoxy the floors, which was a process. We even mixed concrete and concreted. But it's kind of hard to see because all the carpet's covering it. But we filled it ourselves. But yeah, it's nice to have this little music area because I feel like there's not really a place in the house to have <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> and Brighton has a bunch of guitars and pianos and a lot of that, so. a lot of things. Yeah, it's a spot. nice little getaway area. making your music. All this right. is where Brighton does his work, and let me show you where I do it. So this is my office. A lot of things happen in here. Um, this is where I do speech therapy. I get on Zoom calls all the time. And then it's also where I work on my denim line, so I'll do a lot of meetings. I feel like everything's virtual these days. So I'm a very organized person, very, I don't know, neat freak. But with these shelves, I kind of wanted to have fun with them. I put a lot of color on it. Um, initially, I, when I started designing my house, I was very like afraid of color, but now I feel like color just brings so much life and I didn't want it to be so boring. So this is my kind of space. Sometimes I'll put bags on there, purses, decorate with them. I got my perfume, jewelry, um, little trinkets. My mom got me these little like vintage dolls and little buggy <laughs> books. I got fashion books, gardening books, denim book. Um, thought it was very fitting for the office. And yeah, it's a nice backdrop when I'm in my Zoom sessions. <laughs> Okay, so this is the bedroom. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite spots in the house just because it's so cozy and peaceful. Um, and I just love, like with this spot, I just wanted to make it really cozy, comfortable, clean. I love white bedding, so whites and creams. Um, just really neutral compared to the rest of the house, I think. Um, and then the art wall. I thought this was a really fun idea. The designers actually gave me the idea of doing this. And then we have the, this is my closet. These are the doors. They came with the house. I love, I love all the doors in the house. That was like one of the first things that sold me on it. Even like the wood, the wood doors with the slats and then this, everything kind of like goes together. And my favorite part of my room is the balcony. Okay, so this is the balcony. I love this spot. I come here in the morning and drink my coffee, maybe read. Um, I also have my lettuce grow out here, which is thriving right now. This is, it's huge. <laughs> a little bit out of control. Lots of zucchinis coming off of here. Actually the one in the kitchen I picked this morning. Um, and lots of tomatoes. The tomato plant is like growing over the side of the house at the moment. So I need to figure that out. Um, have some privacy screens I put up and going to put some more up on this side, but for now, that is this area. <laughs> so home to me is just having things around me. Um, that is everything that I love. So that's probably why I bought a million plants when I first moved in um, and why I wanted to be near my family. Um, 
I also, I guess I started fostering kittens when I moved into. <laughs> there has been a lot of renovations. I'm like staring at the house as I'm saying, so I'm like, it's been a lot more work than I anticipated for sure. Um, but it's like strangely addicting, you know, every time I have Every time I have construction or things going on in the house, I'm like, okay, that's the last one for a while, I'm gonna stop. Like a week later, I'll, you know, have another idea. I'll be like, gotta do it now. <laughs> so I kind of did everything, not in any particular order, um, but <laughs> I think what I wanted to do was just do it all at the same time and get it all done, and it's taken a lot longer than anticipated. But at the same time, it has not even been a year, and I feel like there's a lot of changes, so. Thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out. I'm so happy I got to show you my house and can't wait to see you guys next time.